Hey, what's up guys? It's Chuck from Brady Adventures and today we are going to install a new piece of seat trim on our driver's side and then reinforcement brackets on the driver and passenger side. So check it out. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is get this handle out of the way. And then I have the original screw from the uh, cover. This bracket is going to fit right in here. And at first, I was a little messed up. This goes over the top of this and just fits in here like so. Let me get that lined up. And the big thing is having this level before you drill this hole. I'm going to take a little punch and put a nice mark here so I don't get the bit doesn't walk around on me. And I'm going to put the bracket right in there to keep from drilling into the seat. Almost forgot. Mechanic John recommended putting a little piece of tape here to keep shavings out of your seat track. I think that's a great idea. I got my 5 16 inch hole drilled here. Now I'm going to set up my washers. Lock washer, flat washer. And I'm gonna reach around here and try and get this won't push through. Now I'm gonna put a nut over this. This nice and tight. Now I'm gonna put the plate in. Here we go. Alright, come on, come on, baby. There we go. Line up that screw. Okay, nice. A little bit tough to get in, but not too bad. And now I'm gonna go with the flat washer, lock washer. And the other nut. Now, in mechanic John's videos, he was counting this back for the thickness of this, so this would sit back a little bit further. But I was able to get everything on. I imagine that's just to have it fit a little bit better. Four. I gotta make sure that's just in the right position. A big thing when you're putting this on is this right here goes right over this. So this is one of the first things you need to make sure you get on there. What I'm going to do is slide this over this and then kind of make sure I get that on there. And now I have to get this plastic up over the top of that and that angle just right. This uh, little body clip should be lined up. And I'm gonna push. And I think that's in. Last thing to do is put this screw in. Do you see how this isn't quite fitting up really flush on here? I'm not sure if I missed the clip, so I'm gonna take it back apart. But this might be why Canic John says to pound in that little tab a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and see if that helps it out. All right, I pop that in just a little bit. See if this helps it line up a little bit better. Otherwise, I'm going to go with it because it was really pretty good to begin with. Mechanic John does provide a new screw for this that has a little more surface area for holding this in. I think I will go with this one just because it's got a bigger head. Yeah, that did come in a little bit tighter. So these are the three other screws that you would drill into the bracket um, if this was cracked or you needed more support. But you can tell that really is pretty, pretty sturdy where you hit right here. So I don't think that's going to have a problem. All right, now to the passenger side. This side's slightly different, at least for the extended cab, because you're going to use this existing hole. This has something to do with the folding and sliding forward in this cable. On a one that doesn't have that, you're going to use this hardware like we did on the other one. But for us, we I think we're going to just reuse 
getting that right down on there. Hey guys, just as soon as I got this put back together, I realized I skipped a part of the instruction. So I just went ahead and used the factory bolt because it looked like it would be fine. Now, what I failed to do was, this is actually bending the bracket in a little bit, and I noticed that on the other side, uh, we used the nut to hold the bracket out. Um, on this side, you're supposed to use some stacked washers and the other hardware that's provided. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo this real quick the correct way. And I did verify this is gonna be different on non-extended cab vehicles because I have this cable and this little housing that holds the cable back here which has basically a, a nut and that's why it has this factory bolt here and the other side does not or the non-extended cabs don't. So what I'm gonna do, take that back out. This should be the same size bolt in with the kit, just double checking. Yep. The instructions say lock washer, flat washer, that makes sense, and then on the inside of this bracket we're going to stack four washers. So the passenger hardware kit comes with a whole extra stack of washers. Hopefully this is not going to be a complete pain in the booty. Get in here. Not spilling all those washers in. Cool it's not. I like to get this screw hole down here aligned so I know it's gonna fit right. Cool, and that's now that's not bending the bracket at all. This one wasn't pre-drilled, so I'm assuming there's some slight differences in the different models. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Same as last time, I'm gonna get this back clip on. Now, I'm going to use my little punch to mark where this is. So this is all lined up, so it should be just right. Let's hope, let's hope we're right here. All right, I got that hole drilled out. Hopefully, it's going to line up right. All right, now I'm going to put the screw in. And here lines up perfectly worked good wow so this side's even easier and that is super sturdy so again on this side if your piece is already broken or you just want that extra extra support you can put the extra screws in um, and I may do that at some point who knows but for now I'm gonna go with this and see how things hold up all right, there you have it, that's it. That should hold up pretty good now. If you have any questions, uh, please leave those in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching Brady Adventures.